Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick, a short video explaining about how to fix um, defective uh, BIOS file. So I already took it out and already did the backup, right? So we do the backup with flash cut USB. The flash cut, I will post a picture, a couple of picture with this video and the flash cap is a um, JTAG device, okay? It's very cheap, you can buy on eBay or Amazon. I, I'm not sure about Amazon, but I'm sure that you can buy it on eBay, it's cheap. And then there's an adapter that can read and connect to the to your SPI ROM IC, your BIOS IC, and then you can read it. So I did a backup, okay? This is the backup. Okay, how I do, I, I will do another one so I can show you. You click here, you say okay. But before that, let's be sure that it's still reading it. Okay, there you go, that's my file. It's, a, it's a M, a P, MXIC. So I'm gonna do the backup. Okay, so I'm gonna put test two on this one. And we're gonna save it. So it's reading the file, you see? Boom, until finish here. So when it finished, we're gonna have a bin file. We need that 8HXD. I've been using this one for years. It works perfectly for me. So let, let's wait for finish it. It should be here in my next open space on my desktop. And it's not there. <laughs> Where's my, t oh, my bad. Normally I I put it inside, so let me check. It's on flash cut, I leave it, I put it on flash cut. Test two, this is the one. This is the file, okay? So I'm gonna take this file on top of my HXD, boom, done. Okay, so I know it's good. When it's bad, you will see only FFF, no data. So now, I have this file, Intel ME Firmware Repository Master. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I have it. So you open it and you need to find ME Analyzer. This is the version, I'm not sure it's a newer one. This is the one I've been using. You open it and then you see this MEA. You take your test to be or your bin file. You go, you put it on top done issue there you go it's asking you this welcome to Intel engine firmware analysis tool please enter to skip or input to the list option you push enter on your computer and it uploads uh, or it show you this this is the version of your ME region so to to explain you a little bit when your BIOS got damaged it, almost all the time because your ME region is defective. So there's a couple things that you need to check here. First one is the chipset support, LPT, LP. And region, type region, extracted a slim, and your version, 9.5.3.15.26. Why is that so important? I'm gonna show you why. You go back here and then check on 9.5.3, you check here, you see, 9.5, and then I'm gonna, gonna check 9.5.3, and then the 15.26, I have this one. Now here it says SLM, that's a slim, and then it said EXTR, it means extracted. PRD is production, so this is, 100% the file that you need, okay? This is your file. So um, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna put it on my desktop because I'm gonna use it and I, I don't mess with this, I don't wanna erase anything on this because here are almost all the uh, kind of files or BIOS that, that they use, okay? So I'm done with this. Now, the next thing to do, I'm gonna copy this, copy and paste, because this is my original file, I don't wanna damage it. I'm gonna close this one because we're gonna work with the copy. Boom, we're back. 
So what I'm going to need now, now this file, this file, the emmy region file, I'm going to put it here too. And it's going to show me this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to select everything. Control A on my computer. And the land here under is very important. Very, very important, bro. Okay. Now I'm going to the top. So the land is 11F000. You need to copy that. You need to learn it on this file. Why? Because when I go to my original file or to this file, I'm going to search for something. First, this is what we're going to search. Let's search FPT. So here, search, I'm going to put FPT. And boom. You see this section? See how it looks? Well, it's the same section. You see? So something here for some reason is corrupted on your file. So what you're going to do, you're going to copy this. When you go to your file, you're going to put it here and you're going to do select block. Okay. Do you remember your land? I don't. So we're going to cancel it. We're going back. 11F three times zero. 11F zero zero zero. So I'm going back here, select block, go here and land 11F000. And okay, it's done. Now here, I say paste right, done. You see, this is the new section, this is your new M region. After you do that, you are going to save it. Yeah, well, let, let me go to, to the beginning. I want to see that everything match. Okay, from here, 11F000, and then you select Lent, done, and then pa Paste Bright. It's Paste Bright all the time, no insert, Paste Bright. When it's that, you go here and you save it, and done. You're already clean. Remember why using the test to copy. So you already clean the, what's the name? the emmy region of your file so what you're going to do now you go to whatever application you have you erase it here right let's erase it and i want to erase it because i'm using a real bio from another computer and then after you erase it you're going to write it back after you erase it i'm going to erase it anyways i have the original backup uh, yes, it's going to take, I don't know, a minute, and then you're going to write it back. And then you have your Emmy region working. And I'll show you how to write it back. Again, this is not the only operating system. Or this is not the only tool or equipment that you can use for this. There's several, but this is one of the cheapest ones. So you see now it's all F because it's blank. There's nothing in it. There's no data. Now I'm going to write it back. So I'm going here, wrap, write data to memory, my file, and then test to copy. Another important thing is if your file is good, you did a good job, it's going to be exactly, 100% exactly the original one that you did the copy. So. It, all these files you see here, the one that say 8,192 KV are being filed from corrupted computers that I've been working before. And all these computers, they have to be exactly the same amount of bytes, of kilobytes. Okay, so that's it. And then you select which one you wanna write, open, and then okay. And here, it ha every time it says it's successful, 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 it means that everything is going in the right place. That's it. Text me or whatever you need to. If you didn't understand something, watch the videos.
same time until you learn it. Any question, any confusion, you can text me, bro, and call me, and I'll help you. No problem, okay? That's it, bro. Have a great day.